Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top four of the Mustafar Galactic Championship Hyperspace Qualifier. Super excited to be here. We have come down to four players, four players, um, and and we're gonna we're gonna break down these squads here in a second. We're gonna open betting while my co-hosts introduce themselves. How's it going, Scott? Hey, Will. Uh, Will, sorry, I looked over and saw wow. Will Haywood's name. Wow. I'm really sorry about that. I know my GSP uh, casters and players. Um, hey, Dion, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how's it going, Pedro? Uh, so good. It's it's really good. The, the break was a little short for me, so I couldn't get any any lunch to eat. So I will have just to to endure, but. Other than that, uh, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> All righty. So we're going to go ahead and uh, break down these lists. Before we do that, though, let me remind you guys that uh, this round is brought to you by Curl Park Creatives. Use that coupon code MUSTAFAR2020 for 20% off. Additionally, um, Scott is from Scott Hexiled is from Gaming. <laughs> that, that is correct. That is exactly where I'm from. And um, my friend Pedro is from X-Wing, the Ros Rosangela Squadron. Yep. I got it. I did Rosangela it. Rosangela Squadron. Hey, real quick, Nick, we need to refresh Will's squad on his side of the board when you have a second. So we'll, let me know when that's ready to go. We'll get that fixed here. Uh, betting will open in a second for you guys. Right, cool. Thank you. And and we're off. Let's go ahead and break down those uh, those squads. Scott, we'll start with you. Yeah. So over on the left, we got Will Hagwood flying some uh, four Imperials. We've got Vermeil with Intimidation, Mauler with Dead Eye Shot, Merrick Steel with Fire Control, and Vader with Fire Control as well. Pedro, what's on the other side? In the other side, it's a scam swarm. I here, down here we call it the actor swarm for for actor Kang. It's uh, two Silos recruits in fan fighters, and four M uh, cartel spacer in the M two A interceptors. Two of them with tractor beam, and the other two with ion cannon. Fantastic! So if you guys were playing choose your champion, what do you think you would be betting on? Uh, I mean, the scum list is definitely tried and true. We, we know it's great. It has performed very well in the past. But Hagwood over here flying something completely new, out of the blue. I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to bet against Hagwood, but the scum list ha is tried and true. Yeah, um, and, and this is scum list is also has also done well in extended format, which is a little bit like more difficult because you have to face many different archetypes and many different lists. So being able to fly them in hyperspace, it's super, super good. Um, it's also many ships. Like like there have been people talking about like like in the with this current point, uh, with this current meta, uh, it's good for for a list that have lots of ships. Um, at some point, you're going to eventually roll those daddies that you that you need in order to tractor uh, the enemy's aces, in order to ion them, in order to kill them with your fan fighters. So I think, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go with the scam list as well. All right. So make your, your opinion known in the chat. Type exclamation point bet. Put a space. Type one for William, two for Niels. Put a space and then type how many points you want to go ahead and uh, and bet on the game. It's just a fun way for us to play. By the way, anybody who's watching uh, watching the channel, maybe you're a longtime viewer, we're actually going to be resetting the points at Coruscant. That day, we're starting at zero. Everybody starts at zero. Okay. I will give you guys about a thousand points to start off with, and whoever ends Coruscant with the most number of points will get a special prize. Should be fun. So get get your uh, you know get start flexing those uh, those betting muscles now. We'll talk about what the prize is when we get to the to the Galactic Championship event. Should be funny. Uh, should should be sorry. I just read. I just read the chat. I just read the words. <laughs> should be fun. <laughs> should be fun. All right. So let's talk about this approach a little bit, guys. 
Yeah, so uh, we got Vader over uh, in the in the middle of the board, uh, looking to get a little bit of a flank here, and then we've got a little cluster with Merrick, Vermeil, and Mauler Mythel with Vermeil out in front, nice and beefy. Um, Scum, I mean, keeping their little fire groups together. They got a tractor, an ion, and a fang uh, in two distinct little fire groups. So looks looks strong. Uh, the problem here when you try to flank with Vader is exactly the lack of afterburners in this hyperspace meta because uh, Vader can do like a three bank. Uh, but then at, at one point, he's, he's, he can just move with his maneuvers. Uh, I've, I've seen extended lots of time where Vader does this thing and then he's a three bank or a five straight um, uh, and then he boosts to get that kill shot. Now he cannot do that because he cannot boost. Uh, on the other side, um, I, I see that Vermel is trying to to contain the, the other ties, but Vermel itself at some point has to execute the Islanders maneuver and it's a medium ship so I, I I think it's also not possible to to keep to hold them back all the time like like yeah. like here like here it's molar methyl bumping and bumping against against the Reaper all the time but at some point it won't be able you, you just cannot do that all the rounds um, one of the things I will say is to the, the strength of, of the six and the fangs you know they are three evade die ships um, they can be tough to hit. But we do have Intimidation Vermeil, so he may just smash into one of these ships uh, in order to help um, the, the other ships light them up. Um, so that could take away some of the uh, uh, the uh, advantage of those those six, especially. We'll see if that puts them in too much danger. If there's you know two, four, five ships to follow up that bump um, from the Scum player, then it could not be worth it. And with the amount of firepower that Will has has brought, there is a there is a timeline where Will could potentially kill uh, up to three ships in a turn. I don't. I, I think four is unlikely. I mean, it mm -hmm. is technically possible if they have if all four of Will's ships have range one and Neil's completely blanks out and there's max damage on the other side. It could happen, but I mean, it, it is very probable to see two oh. ships die in an engagement before uh, Neil gets to shoot. It's just really dependent on positioning. So that's why you see uh, Neil set up with that kind of like uh, along the board edge setup. Get a feel for how fast Wheel's going to be coming in. Um, he knows, Niels knows that Vader doesn't have afterburners, so you don't have that little bit of extra get out of dodge. But also, watching Will play this now a couple of times, it seems like the approach with Vader, um, he's... It's, it's very similar to what you see in extended Vader kind of trying to set up the flank. But usually Vader, uh, can also... He also, also likes to joust sometimes. And I feel <laughs> like Vader, Vader in this hyperspace works better as a flanker because you don't have to worry about um, for a while having to do something like a talon roll or a K turn after getting the first pass of a uh, of a joust you can uh, possibly set up from behind because you don't want to ignore that that squadron there on the bottom left hand side of the board no and I, I, one of the things uh, Pedro was talking about um, you know getting Vermeil held back uh, one of the tools that Will has is he can coordinate with Vermeil to stress himself stop him from having to do the aileron maneuvers and that can slow him down he's not doing that he, he is moving towards the enemy and he's going he has to do the one forward one at least one forward one forward with the aileron and a maneuver here we go cartel space now, is coming in yeah now you uh dion said it you could potentially kill four ships if you got range one but you can only kill four m3 interceptors because at some point if you get the fan fighters at range one, there is mm -hmm. very unlikely possibility to kill them because they will get that uh, free bait result because of the uh, Concordia. Um, so that's really, really interesting because the fangs are the ones who are behind the M2A interceptors. I thought he was going to try and make them like, you guys have to go forward because you are the guys who, if they want to shoot at you at range one, for me, that's okay because you get the extra... You, you get a, a give eight for sure. Oh, oh we just a got a jam. jam. Space jam. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, me either. Oh, man. 
uh, Will Haywood making dreams come true. We're we're in a cut game seeing jams this early on. It's a thing of beauty. But uh, I, I don't really like this engagement for uh, for Niels because he he's got he, he didn't want to let Vader come in for free, but he's also split these groups, and I don't I don't think uh, you know if, if if Will gets to shoot and kill you know one of these M three A's down at the bottom, and then it's two ships shooting into his three. I, I just don't see them doing much. All right, Vader is looking at that fire squad there, deciding where to put that lock. Well, uh, it looks like the new emote settled in. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 we'll see. We'll see when, when you find it, Scott. Fun walk. I'm, look at. I'm gonna look. refresh my chat here. Five, refresh your chat. Fun walk. <laughs> oh, he's deciding who <laughs> who's he going, is he going to shoot. Oh, I, I see. I see. I like it. I'm honored to be to be in your uh, in your emotes. All right, we got the target lock on the brown M3A interceptor. Uh, now, the, the ones who has a structure is the brown and green, and the ones with the ions are blue and pink. All right, here we go. Oh, Will, For, Will's... Forgot about the box. Yep. Rerolling in the box. And, oh, wrong. What happened? To, what is happening? There we go. One crit so far. Fire blank control. to blank. Blank and no blank. Uh, I don't, don't, you don't spend the force here. Yep. You have too many shots Ooh. coming back in. Man, Niels might find, uh, yeah, that that turning in towards Vader was a great idea. Yeah, I mean, there, there is. You have a uh, you know, tractor. You got Ion. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and label those ships in the, in the game as we're going here. One hit so far. This is Mauler. Oh boy, Imperials not doing any yep. damage so far. Eric, same ship. Ooh, much better. Ooh, yep. It could happen. Mark's ability. Yep. It will hit crit. This is what crit. you've been looking oh, for. <laughs> so anybody who's not familiar with uh, with ability here, <clears throat> Merrick Steele says that you get to draw three crit cards, which you're gonna go ahead and put in the box. But okay, that's that's too few leaks. Oh, and that's a blinded pilot. And you get to choose uh -huh. one. Oh, I don't know if Blinded Pilot matters right now because he doesn't have a focus. So probably just one of the fuel leaks. Yep, yep. took one of the fuel leaks. Well, Vermeil's shot uh, will be against a ship with no tokens. That's good for him. Trigger that ability. That's right. could potentially kill that green M3 Interceptor. One crit Let's will go do it, mill. or yeah, or you know, two damage. And could happen. Three, yeah. Yeah, Vermeil's ability there, here. making it uh, making it three hits there. Hey, almost. He lives. Almost doesn't count. Takes one damage. <sighs> oh yeah, now, that, yeah. That's really frustrating from the player who has the higher initiative ships if you lift the other ship at one hole because next round you have to spend one more attack to kill that ship sometimes it can get really frustrating yeah i think he's going after back. marek the tractor put him on a rock uh i'm not sure if you make him go into the rock or just straight so the fun fighters and the other cartel spacer can get a good kill at him because if he never mind he's going, he's going to the rock <laughs> <laughs> oh no he's gonna undo that this is tractoring on merrick and yep, yep that's, that's the on the rock. He got it. 
Now he could stress to rotate. That'd be an awkward position. Uh, maybe rotate left. Huh? Yeah, just to give you a better better exit point. Ooh, he's putting it in a place where rotating left doesn't really help you. He still has to roll for damage. Yeah. Will's deciding whether to turn or not. Yep. Oh, Does that way. Well, that's, okay. that's the one way that's clear of the rock, but... Oh, you're right. Not a great position still. And he does Takes take the, the damage. damage. Ooh! Now, let's see if he gets Ion. Oh, that'd be bad. I mean, I guess if you were Ion the other way on the rock, you probably weren't going to shoot next turn anyway. But that would be a little bit extra feels bad. Mm, but yeah, here's here's the the, the problem deciding because if uh, you have tracked or a ship, but now it's obstructed. So does it matter if you? I mean, do you want to ion Marek, or maybe do you want to ion Moller? Oh, okay. He tries to ion the big guy. Hmm. Yep, four dice range one. Oh, he won't be two. iron. No, just the damage. Merrick, Merrick, very happy about this. Has the obstruction right now. We'll have four dice on this rather than five. Yeah, I, I was thinking that that when he tracked for Merrick, I another option was to make him boost straight. So you could get a better shot with the Fang Fighter and with the other Cartel Spacer. Here we go. Third shot. Ooh, Ooh, three hits. This is against Vermeil, and all three of those are going in. That's half points. Yeah, down to four. Uh, Jace91415. Is this the Jace who was playing earlier today? <laughs> The top four, bottom left hand of your screen, my friend. Welcome. If it wasn't, it's just coincidence. We had somebody in the top eight, uh, up to the top eight, make it. Tractor Vader. Oh no. Oh. Well, there's only two shots to take after this Vader. You, you could just, just hold out. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, so Niels got the engagement that he wanted, right? All his weapons are on target. The, that tractor beam is hitting, making it so that the other weapons available, the ion, and of course, just the regular three dice gun of the Fang Fighter does does the work. Uh, Spend he, for three. Oh, that's that's going to oh. be an ionized Vader, most likely. One blank means uh, ionized. Oh no! No! no. Curse. Just, just the damage. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, like like not so sad, Vader. I mean, an Iron Vader uh, at that position was going to be a dead Vader probably next round. 3v2. Oh, only two? Okay. Come on, Vader. One paint. Keep it on the shields. No. Team no. What? <laughs> Vader. <laughs> Will gets caught out. Not punished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Merrick stressed facing the board edge. I mean, that's not a great position to be in. I, I think that's why he turned his guns on Vermeil. He, he mm -hmm. feels like he's got the control on Merrick. Uh, he can follow that up this turn. Um, and now he's got half points on Vermeil as well. Yes. Uh, by now I am sure... What do you do if you're just camp player with uh, with pink, brown, and yellow? Because uh, you could try and keep the pressure on on Vader. I mean, the entry entry uh, interceptors have uh, three and a five k turn, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure what you do with with the fun fighter because mm. a four k I don't think it won't fit. You could try out like a T roll or, or probably just uh, a one heart. Yeah, because if, if Vader four K is behind you, his his lock is on brown, so you're not really 
at risk of that um yeah maybe maybe you turn to prepare for mauler and for meal have we wh our... what, what do you guys think merrick's gonna do a uh, wabank on bank because he's stressed oh. yeah uh yeah i, I don't yeah. think that many options if he goes yes straight he's probably not going to get to to attack anyone um that, that that imperial group is in a really hard position it could end up with no ships having any action oh, i mean bermel has the the island so he's mm -hmm. probably going to get out but moller moller could get bumped in many many ways i wonder i wonder if if you're convinced that niels is going to come in fast right or fast enough could the three hard to the left on merrick get him past that's something either you three... pass or you bump oh. into one ship so that you don't get shot by it um because mm -hmm. yeah i mean ugh, i feel like those blue maneuvers are pretty readable uh you can just two four green one bank blue something like that and just be waiting for it yep yeah, i think i'd rather bump uh, um well vermil is like saving like making a safe space for for marek like you know no scam ship is going to be there because vermil is already there so mm -hmm. you could potentially just do a, a three heart probably get a shot on green because green is uh green is in a weird position uh i don't think if he goes straight he will go past marek because Molder is there, is there, so he could probably try and, and bank. Mm -hmm. It's just about the, ah, oh, it's really close. Or you could just like, like, like switch groups, like blue, green, and red go after Vader, and pink, brown, yellow come here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's a good that point. That's another possibility. That's a really good point. Yeah, because they, they definitely both have that, that position. And all of them have one heart. Yeah. Oh, man. You could do a one heart to the right with this group and to the left with the other group. And it's like, okay, we are changing positions, but we all will have some something someone to attack. Yeah. High five on the way past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, these little fire groups are, are very cool, very efficient. Yep, if you like lists like this, uh, we do have a few recordings of Okta Khan playing uh, during the Space Jam events, this exact, uh, this exact squad. Yeah, this is a tough turn. I'm not surprised that it's taking a little bit longer because it is a lot, lot of decision-making going on here. Uh, yeah, but Willie's already... <laughs> I think it, it, at, some, at some point, if, if you are saying, hey, I can get bumped here, can get bumped there, I won't have any attacks, it's like, okay, I, I'm just going to set a maneuver. Because <laughs> there it is! There it is! They are oh. turning, they are changing targets. There it is. And that Fang Fighter is in a spot that's going to likely bump Vader, so Vader won't get an, an attack if he did uh, a hard turn as well. It's like a military parade. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> okay, only half of them did, they did that. Almost, almost. Almost. Oh. On Vermeil passed. Vermeil gets passed. Looks like we're going to be facing down somebody in the other fire squad right now. Could reach back and jam red if he thinks Merrick is in danger. Ah, this is very true. Space jam! <laughs> oh, he's jamming brown. Okay, so that removes the focus there. Fun that range one bubble, Will. Come on. I think, does, does that mean that does Vader that likely Vader has a shot on that same ship, so they're going to be focusing on it together? Um, could be if Vader executes what, like like a, like a T-roll to the right. Hey, real quick, somebody, one of you two are echoing. Is it me? Or maybe. I don't know. 
Check. I can't tell. One, two. One, two. It is you. Yes. Uh, what can I do here? Are you wearing headphones? I am wearing headphones. Oh, weird. Maybe turn it down a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, All right, here we go. Vader, Vader did bump, but does have the lock set up. Here it is. Four dice. Fire control. Fire control did change one of those hits to a crit. Blank to blank. Still natty out of brown. No. No, only taking on the shield, right? Yep. yep. He, he doesn't have the focus. He was jammed. Vermeil could be there to finish him up. Marek tried to kill the green for good. Hit, hit, oh. crit. That probably does it. Changes a hit to a crit using the advanced targeting computer. Fire control. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So he got a ship. Will William be able to get two this turn? That's what's going to be the question. Vermeil will have a range one shot onto Brown, which doesn't have any modifiers on defense. Vermeil has her ability. Mahler's got a range one shot, but it's against the ship that likes to be at range one, the Fang. Could take a two dice shot long range into Brown if you just want to focus fire. Oh, I, actually, I really like that, actually. You probably fire with Vermeil first. Vermeil's and if you a kid... four, so Mahler's got to shoot first. Oh, uh, right. Yes, that's how that works. Mahler always a five. Yeah, it's, <laughs> we don't see that tie very often. <laughs> or you could shoot at blue or even at brown. I think I, I like I like the call on Brown. Yeah, it, it's either Brown long range so you can focus fire. He doesn't have any tokens, or Red range one because you've got Mauler's ability. Ooh, okay. He wants to roll the maximum dice. So we will be four against three. I, I'm in that Finn Rowell mode where I'm like, Finn gets four at range one, right? Ah, uh, <laughs> he's most likely to be safe. Yeah. yeah. That, that uh, was a well, focus he, result. Not going to... Concordia mm -hmm. just negates it. What damage? <laughs> yeah, Concordia face-off says that if you're defending against a ship in your front arc, or the sorry, that your ship is in the front arc and you're defending, the, the Fang Fighter just changes one of the die to an evade. So one hit does nothing in those situations automatically. Here's Vermeil's range one. Ooh. That'll be two hits and a crit. Yeah. Got um, him. Oh, Got him. That's dead. Dead yep. at range one. So that was that was one of the track that was a tractor beam. No more tractor beams. On the table. Both of them are gone. So we did see William end up getting hit by two, but Neil still has the ion cannon. Those are still really good weapons. And you can see that Vader is lined up with at least one of those shots from the blue M3A. Fang going to go into Mauler. And, and I think Will's got to be happy about that. That is his cheapest ship. Agreed. Spends for three. Happened. Just need one evade to live. Two evade oh. keeps your points. That only takes one. So, yeah, we've just got Ion 6 left. Getting an Ionized Vader would be very good. Uh, and he's got all of his force points right now, I think. Hit crit coming from the M3A going into Vader. And Vader nope. gets what he needs. And In he's going now, yep, after Vermeil. Could potentially kill him. Yeah. But he will need to all hits to go through. Ooh. Oh, that's a good start. Yeah. Three. There that goes. Vermeil takes three. Lives on one, right? That's all you need to get one more shot. No, false. There, sorry. There's one more shot coming in. Sorry. So many ships. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be a... Uh, it's Ion because you only need to do one. Uh, That's yeah, right. Guaranteed. 
Yep, got the kill. Gone. Yeah, in those situations with the special weapons, when uh, the, the ion cannon gives you the opportunity to roll more dice, even though you're only scoop it, looking for one damage, why would you roll two? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So that's just a pro tip if you are a newer player and you wonder if for weapon selection, if you have a secondary weapon, a lot of times, even when you might not need the effect, most of the time, firing the weapon, if it gives you more dice than what you have available for a primary weapon, is the right choice. Uh, unless it's, it's structural beam, of course, no? Because they, right, they right, don't right. I, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it looks like 56 to 52, so only four points between them. Oh, Vermil is really, really heavy on points. Yeah. Or or was yeah, now he's he's <laughs> he's gone. R.I.P. Vermeil. Yeah, who who is in the advantageous position here? Um, because we've got Niels who's prepared to block, and and especially with uh, Vader not having a lock now, he needs a turn to move that lock to something else to get that those full dice. So if you can keep blocking Vader, to really control him. But will he be able to block like many of Vader's possibility? Because Vader is most likely to to go one is one forward or 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 just a one bank. Mm -hmm. um, Pink or blue I mean, can do it. it. Just how 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 many ships do you want to dedicate to that task? Uh I would be okay if, if the fun fighter is not the one blocking because I'm okay if Vader shoots at. At, at the fun fighter at range one mm -hmm. with no locks. Okay, okay, you are rolling three three dice with just the fours. I will be rolling three green dice and I have the Concordia. So I'm okay with that. Um probably going to try and uh, um give that tax task to blue. Mm hmm Maybe. Um because red is too far away and pink is in, in a really weird position, like if he if, if Pink tries to block Vader, he's most likely will also block Blue, so mm -hmm. you don't want that. So yeah. I want to go ahead and take a quick poll of the audience. Right now, who do you think has the momentum in the game? Type 1, if you think William Haywood is starting to take the momentum, or do you think Niels Voss has it in his hands right now? Player 2. So all you have to do is type 1 or 2 in the chat, and the poll right there will uh, will get your results. We have plenty of people watching right now. I think we get a good sample size, and we'll uh, probably try to go ahead and do this poll again after the next round to see how you guys feel. Uh, I'll let you guys know how the results uh, shake out here while you guys continue breaking it down. So, so Merrick's in the similar boat of Vader, where the ship that had the lock is gone, so now he needs to move it. He's a lot more vulnerable than Vader. He doesn't have those passive mods. Um, he can't link action uh, after he locks. So, man, it, it just feels like with a turnaround from blue, a turnaround from red, I mean, you can get a lot of, and, and especially yellow's already facing that direction. Merrick's already lost a shield. If he Decides to go for that lock. He's super vulnerable. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'd be looking for Merrick to maybe not be here next round. But there is also the possibility to kill Molar. So, oh yeah, that too. Merrick I mean... Ma Ma can use Molar like like a human shield, like kill mm -hmm. him, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this yep. really nice Tie Fighter. Just shoot this thing yep. instead. Again, it's I think Will is, is very happy if you go for the cheaper ship. Uh, this, it's true. All of it. Yep. Yeah. One of the things I'm looking for here is if if you do end up ignoring Mauler Mythal, Will is more than willing to throw that thing in range one and can still roll four dice. That's the dangerous thing about Mauler. Uh, we don't see too many of the tile lands floating around in lists, but... Mauler is one of those where, because it is so cheap, it's only 32 points compared to everything else in his list, it can still do just as much work, uh, of not with as many uh, modifications, not as consistently, but it still can do some pretty, quote-unquote, bad things to ships. Mm -hmm. Just a focus. I think that blocks uh, one bank from Vader. Sure does. Oh, wow. 
Pink slides in right behind blue. Little Red little tactical the bump. bump there. Trying to catch, uh, maybe trying to catch Merrick. Ooh, Mauler. Ooh. Speaking of range one. Hello there. Yep. And, that's and got the Marek. block. Got the block. Needed to do the three turn in order to get all the way around. But one it's of the not. things that it do, it did do, it made it so that uh, the Zeal the yellow zealous recruit uh, is the only one who could shoot Mauler if that's the target. But I mean, with the Tie Fighter in range one, that's probably it. Yeah. And that's Vader bumping against blue. Yep. Can Mauler shoot pink? Yeah, I, I was just looking at the same thing, Scott. I think he can. So yeah. you can focus fire, focus fire down that uh, that M3A, and that's what Will sees too. Yeah, that's where he's gonna go. Because especially if you're shooting, if, if Vader's shooting yellow, Concordia face off is online. It's not a good shot. Yep. Range one hit crit. Not bad. The ship is totally clean right now. Has a focus. Three dice. Gonna be taking the shield. Yep. Here comes the next range one shot, probably from Mauler Mythel after Merrick Steel checks to see if he had anything in range. And yes, yep. just barely catching that corner. So close. Four dice, here it is. Dreams cut, can come true. Oh, uh, it still goes happen. It's yep. two crits. Oh, it takes oh, one. Through half points. Half points there. Now, I, for a minute, my stomach, like, sunk because it looked like for just a moment it was mm -hmm. two hits and two crits. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. I lived in that reality. <laughs> Fuel leak uh, for but pink. But Mauler gets to keep the focus for defense, which is great. Yep. That would be first the, the ion cannon. Yep. Mm -hmm. And whiffs oh, on that attack. Still has to reroll those two. Ah, oh. one focus result spends a focus for one and safe. And I'll, the the audience, uh, 106 people did participate in that poll, and uh, the the momentum swing right now seems seems towards William. We'll see what happens after the rest of Neil's shots. Going long range into Merrick here, three v four. I, I'm not sure if that's the right call because I, I know you have just rolled lots of blanks, but you could have potentially kill Molar. You only need two to go through. It gets one through on on Merrick, but it's on the shield. Yep, one shield. Oh man, and I, yeah, that that's a big win for Hagwood there. Hmm. Are there any more? There's no more shots on Neil's side. So we got 72 to 52 is the score. Will is up 20 points. And I, you know, I'm going to have to agree with the audience. I really do feel that the momentum is going towards Will's way right now. Yeah, especially after that round. Got half, didn't take any, uh, didn't lose any points. He did take a shield on Merrick. Yep, and, and there are chances that Vader won't get blocked next round. I mean, the, the only chance is probably if, if Blue somehow stays there, like tries a one heart to the right and stays there. But the problem is that you ha you are keeping one ship just bumping. It's the yeah. only thing it's doing. It's not doing yeah. any damage. Because yeah, my first thought is I see Blue and I, I'm looking for that K turn, but you're right, you could Stick around. There's just nothing. I mean, for Vader, if, if Blue sticks around and you bump, there's nothing there to follow up. I mean, mm -hmm. red's out of position. Yellow could K turn. That's not a good shot. Pink, maybe a one hard turn. There's not a lot of... If you cause a bump on Vader, it's still not great for you. You're, you're denying the target lock, which is good. It's, it's a good defensive play. I mean, is Vader uh, just going one straight this next turn? Just one straight, see what you got in front of you? Or is that could, too risky with the ion cannon probably popping around behind you? I mean, if Blue 
just a K-turn. I mean, you could you could K-turn with blue, um, move yellow like straight or K-turn, and then use pink with a one heart to try and block Vader. Mm -hmm. Because you want to use the ship that is about to die to, to, to block, right? right? You don't want your fully held ship to do the blocking while your ship that are, are already damaged are the one receiving the shots. So you could try and and use pink to block. I mean, it could potentially block both Molar and Vader. And if Molar like executes a K turn, you could probably attack him. Mm. It's a big maybe. Oh man, I, I wonder if if Haywood sees the K turn from Blue coming and moves Molar to to try and meet him there, range one. Right, I'll meet you where you stand. Yeah, I think the M3 has a three and a five. Is that right? Three and a five. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So we he did get a talent one. roll from that red zealous recruit. Mm -hmm. A little bit, oh, not too close to the rock. Should have some space to maneuver. Three bank with the pink cartel spacer taking the evade, especially with that fuel leak and uh, some tie tie X ones out there. They they like uh, doing the crits. There's the K turn we talked about. 3k and he's using yellow the fang fighter to to get in front of vader and drop uh, block the potential one mauler two straight sorry three straight there bumps so i think that's that might be a little bit of a tactical bump maybe thought he could get maybe closer if mm -hmm. uh if yellow hadn't gotten out of the way Ooh, vader oh, no. sitting at range one <laughs> he's gonna have to barrel uh, roll. he must barrel yeah roll. must barrel roll. yeah Yeah, because it gets him an obstruction possibly for red, gets him out of the yellow arc. A great play, yeah, absolutely a great play by Niels Voss, seeing that potential for the one straight and making sure to, because you, by by having that arc right now on Vader, it's making it so that Will is going to need to use his resources, his actions, in order to avoid the shot. Because there's nothing I know about you can Will's do about it. He, he likes to be conservative with his force points, so if he if he wants to get the focus, target lock, everything, he would go target lock, then focus, then potentially linked action, barrel roll if he was trying to... Oh, nope, he's going to stay right there. Oh, he's my goodness. He's, he's feeling lucky. He's feeling lucky. That lucky is right. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking it. And one die out of the box. All right, um, here are the re-rolls from... He's probably spend the target lock here. Yeah, that means yep. he can't flip to a crit. That, yeah, just, 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 roll, just roll Natty on it, it's fine. Hit, hit, crit. So there's one evade token out there already. Oh, He got the evade! Got what he needed. The pink M3A lives. So, Vader, your biggest... Damage dealer right there. That shot completely nullified this turn. Only Here's has Merrick. One shot. Only it's has... It's range two, so no uh, Concordia. Oh, Oof. oh safe. <laughs> Barely. <Yeah. laughs> Almost got to see Merrick pick those crits. And here is Mauler. One Another crit. crit. Looking at the blue M3A and Levee. safe. Oh. Just what he needs. Uh, uh, let's see who do you shoot first. Okay, the ion cannon. <laughs> he, he's putting those force tokens out there as if we will know what side those are. <laughs> I, I mean, those are active, I think. Yes. Ooh, nice. Three hits. Two hits. It was, one was a focus. Oh, sorry. Uh, has it been the force? Squiggle, force. He's got one shield, so he could... If he gets the chance to make that decision, he could take one on the shield. Without giving up points. And Bang here is one. the range one shot. Fang Fighter looking hungry. 
Two's on two's the average. Got the two. One's out the box. Are we going over? We're going oh. over three hits. He wants two paint in here. Keep it on the shields and keep his points. Doesn't get no, it. Half, no half points, baby. And could could I don't know if you should have Vader at this point. He's obstructed. You could probably try and kill Molar. Uh, was was one a crit? No, uh, it was out, no, of, the it was out of the box. Yeah. Okay. I think you should add Molar. Because Vader would be like range uh, for dice. Mm hmm. Here we go. We got a. Uh... Molar's already taken one, right? So. Yep. Yep. You get a few points with one damage there. I mean, both Vader and Molar are. are oh, he's got all. He's got Merrick, right? Uh, he mm -hmm. also has Merrick. Yeah. At uh, range two. Same amount of dice, Merrick's worth more. Yep, I think that's the correct call. So Neil's looking at his options. I mean, he's probably tempted to go at Vader. There's only one, one force available there. But at the same time, his Fang doesn't have any modifiers either. I would choose Molar. Or I think it's Molar or Merrick. Oh, Vader Merrick, has yeah. a force, and Vader has uh, an extra die. He's going at Merrick Steel. One hit will get him half points on Merrick. Rolled one. one. Safe. Nope. Safe. All right. Back to dials. That's right. And right there, that turn... William uh, falling behind 72 to 87. So I was I said that after after the last round that I would re poll you guys. So let me uh, let me go ahead and put that in here. What do you guys think now? It's just so hard for for either of these advanced to get target locks in here. There's so many ships, tons of bumping. Hmm. I mean, Bader Bader Kang, but. He's also down to two fours, so probably you just don't want to keep spending them. Um, for Marek, it's even harder because his only action would be the lock. Yeah. And now, now all his ships, I mean, for for Will's ships, are down to two or three hulls, so they could die. Because of those uh, fan fighters, the fan fighters have, haven't received any, not a single damage. I think that's absolutely massive, Pedro. I think that's absolutely massive. The fact that the fangs are un are completely untouched, and your two end game ships, Merrick and, and Vader on William's side, are, are limping along. You got to play them a little bit more conservative, and you're you're leaning into hoping that you you kill these these other ships. But right now, it's it's three on four, and you don't have a lot of options to end up you know one shotting ships. Yep. Also, the fun fighters for at least a following round are going to fight where they want, which would be most likely range one from the Imperial ships. It's the two hard in. And the Red Fang fighter relieves the stress, takes some focus. One hard uh, turn from one of those guys just stays right there. Is that pink? Yeah, pink and the fun fighters stay there. I think Pink is looking for like like a kind of bump for Marek. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Mahler gets out and does get a range one shot. Ooh. Ooh. Marek gets out. Three bank. He is in one arc. The red uh, fang fighters. And of course the blue one that he's looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, but blue is untouched. So yeah. I'm not sure if you just lock because you are you are attacking him with both molar and marek two four dice attacks but molar doesn't have any mods and i mean 
the target lock is the correct choice to give you the best opportunity to do the most amount of damage. Of course, um, if, if you're leaning into natties, then you take the focus for defense. But I, I think lock is the right choice. I think yeah. I think that's what he's doing. He clicked it on the wrong on the wrong dial. Yeah. But Bar Barrel won't get you out of of range one from that ship and um, focus like you said. Ooh. In... Ooh. <laughs> Vader doesn't bump. Fits in, but it's sitting at range one of of one fang, uh, and looking at range one at the other. Uh, who, who do you lock? It's locking the Fang Fighter. The most expensive ships in Neil's list are those Fang Fighters. He's got to make sure that he does some significant damage before Vader dies, because Vader, there's a good good chance he's gone this turn. We go range one. He's got to focus. Four dice. Okay. Got to get through that Concordia face-off. Ooh. All right, it's got a couple of crits in there. Fire control. Oh, three crits. Oh. The the debate here. The debate here. He's he <laughs> helped. He did spend the force. Oh, okay. Concordia, and that is a crit because of the advanced targeting computer. So that's two, two crits. crits. Wounded and panicked. Well, not gonna matter this turn. No actions for a while. <laughs> yeah. So that's a takes double stress, and when you perform an action, when you actually get around to it, when you perform an action, roll a die and hit or crit, take a stress. Two direct hits would have been nice. A blinded would have been nice. A weapons failure, but take what you can get. Ah, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Merrick, Merrick can be a chooser. We'll see if he gets a, a crit. Very nice. Spends a lock. Changes one to a crit but before spending it. Oh! Is that a, did it come oh, out to a crit? Oh, no, that's a blank. That's a blank. That's a blank. That's a blank. <laughs> oh, be still, my beating heart. No, oh, one crit gets through. Oh, that's just a shield. shield. Probably should have shot with, with Molo yeah. first. Maybe you know what? He wanted to shoot with the ship that only had one shot first, because if somehow Blue had died, Mauler could have shot. All oh, right, correct. Yeah. Man, um, unfortunately, you should add blue, well. or do you should add the fang? He's gonna I go at blue. Go, go for the points where you can get yeah. it. Hit, Hit crit. crit. Not bad. Not uh, good enough. But yep. spending the focus does possibly protect Vader from one of the two shots that are probably going into him. Uh, okay. Ooh, in America. With the ion. Oh, oh sad. no! Whiffs. Oh. Sad ion cannon. Now it's range one. Three focuses looking at Merrick. Could happen. Pop, pop, it's pop. Happening. That's it. Yep. Dead Marek. Marek is gone. RIP. Could happen at that Vader too. And no. one hit what right happened? now. Not going to happen. No. Well, Vader does no. take a damage still. Down to one. Oh. Uh, really quick, uh, Nick flipped the damage uh, from yellow and red. The Fang Fighters, they're flipped. Yeah, so um, this, this is, I think Niels has locked this game up, to be completely honest. He's got to do one damage to Vader. And essentially, you get you get to, you have to manage Mauler. You just gotta manage him. There's nothing yeah. too too crazy. He already has uh, one damage card, and you have enough ships. And those, again, those Fang fighters. The fact that you have one of them full still is massive. 
and uh, tie fighters can't go slow uh i think a two forward is blue i mean you could just this this blue um sick could just one bank into the yellow fang and cause a, a bump on mauler pretty easily um yeah, vader's got to turn around right he's, he's got a lock on the red one but uh pink's there to cause a block on a potential <laughs> scott you know what i just noticed talent. what's that flip do the opposite positioning <laughs> on the ships it's it's a it's a x-wing question mark interesting oh I, I just flipped my camera around yep there hmm. it is <laughs> riddle me this riddle, that's exactly what i was thinking get out of my head <laughs> and into my car Ooh. huh no, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this um, tough position for Will. Um, yes, I mean you could make Red go to the left and try to meet Moller. Like you don't care if that's the only shot of Moller because probably Vader is going to kill Kim if he. I. But Vader, how how does Vader turn turn around? Three three t talon roll. I mean, that's your, your best bet to actually stay on the board and have a shot by because the talent roll to the left brings you over a little bit. But the pink the pink uh, ion cannon carrying cartel spacer uh, can give Vader problems with that as well. But, I mean, you, the game is lost already. At this point, you got to go for the high variance place. I mean, you could survive if... if uh, the, the yellow fan fighter doesn't have any mods this round, and um, red won't have any actions because of of the panic pilot. So it, it's a big if. Yeah. So it just turns and, and faces down Mauler. If Mauler gets into range one, you get your Concordia. Mm hmm. If he goes to a strike, he's most likely go. To be a range one. Ooh. Yep. Get yep. an action though. All right. Got to try to pop something. Yeah, you, you could Take initiate the kill, especially red on two hole. Uh, blue is how how many? Oh, interesting. Three. Okay, on Vader, three. hard three away, only taking two shots. Mauler could. That could end up shooting against pink, I think, from long range to try to take it out or take the range one on the blue. If he'd had the afterburner, <laughs> he would yeah. be like, you know where <laughs> he should. He's got that phantom limb syndrome. He's over there clicking and flipping his uh, his afterburner charges that don't exist. <laughs> There's four dice. I'm pretty sure this is into the M3A at range one. Three hits. He needs uh, one. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. The Concordia. If it, well, is this the M3 or the Fang? Uh, I think this is oh, it. It's the, the Fang. That's the Fang it's fighter. The yep. He went for the high high upside. No. Yep. Now that's the little Lang who is at two hole, shooting the Iron Cannon. Oh, that's two. How many Just forces has, does Vader have? Has a focus. Has a focus. Oh, okay. He's he's got one force I think left for this shot. Mm -hmm. Um, it's hard with this with those tokens, yep. but yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, he got him. He's gonna have to spend one. the force. But now with the shots coming at Moller. Two first. Hit crit. And Mahler is going to be taking a crit. Oh! Half points, if not all of it. Uh, Double damage, bridge. maybe? No, whole bridge. Whole bridge. <laughs> and now, let's see the range wang attack. And two hits. Oh, could happen, but he still has the focus. Oh! Spends bye. the focus, but still takes one. Mauler Mythal taken off the table. 
That is nine. To, the score is now 93 to 166. Vader at one hole versus the scum and villainy. I I think uh, I think we can call it friends. <laughs> Hold on now. There's 15 minutes left. Reds limping along. Blues lost a shield. Just one at a time. One at I a mean, time. I I I know Will well enough that he's not he he's a ne never surrender player yeah. for sure. He plays to the bitter end. Uh, for for that one percent, right? For that just like slight possibility that you could end up pulling out something crazy which it is amazing when those things happen it feels real nice i just want to be on the right side of history when he wins this game and then he goes back and watches it and hears dion go oh man sorry will we're i'm going to have a snack <laughs> he'll hear me say i believe in william hagwood that's true that's true <laughs> you're telling me there's a chance yes there's always a chance <laughs> I mean, if if all the scam ships go after Vader and keep the pressure, then it's going to be hard. Um, but this is like a really a hard choice because at some point you look at the clock and say, we have 15 minutes. Uh, maybe I could just keep pink safe or red safe mm -hmm. and only try to pressure with yellow, which is unharmed. Um, in that case, I think it it really goes on Will's way because he will only have to face one or two, or two ships. Uh, what Niels has to do is to keep the pressure on. Yeah, I mean, my first impression is, is Vader Talon rolls right and goes around the rock, tries to get red. Uh, if like you're it. feeling super vulnerable, you've only got one force point, maybe it's important that you take your actions. I don't know. Or maybe Will feels like this corner is cursed. Only bad things have happened here. Runs away. <laughs> 13 minutes left. He, he finds a, a better engagement elsewhere. Uh, yeah, I, that will be my strategy, but the problem is the time. Yeah, yeah. We don't have that much time. Yeah, with, 13 turn, with 13 minutes left, you probably get what? Maybe three to four turns? I mean, if we're engaging, it's less. Um, but let's let, let's talk about the math. So, uh, Vader's worth sixty nine points. Uh, Nick, did did Will have a bid? I, I doubt. I doubt it. I'm here. Oh. Sorry. Um, I have. Let's see. So, Will, they're both at two hundred points. They're both at two hundred. Yeah. Okay. So, with with Vader at sixty nine, he would have to have taken out. I mean, what these. The Zealouses are 41, and like one and a half, like uh, one, uh, a Zealot and half of a Cartel Spacer out there would mean that Vader gets a, has a chance at some point, but he's already halved. But, oh man, this is, it's bad. You would basically need yeah. half of one of the other ships alive, you, or, you or one of the, uh, one of the Spacers full. The problem here is uh, the yellow is has a giving away point. So yep. the, the ship, if Niels tries to like protect one ship, it should be yellow because Vader in three attacks could probably kill red, blue, and pink. But those points won't be like enough if yellow is still alive. I guess they're too hard. Okay. Does he have oh. an arc there? I don't think no. so. No. Uh, he will be getting uh, prop blue. I think blue has a shot on him. Maybe he could roll. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Yep. Yeah, no attack there. Just one oh. shot. It looks like just barely. Uh, this is. Oh what, oh, what happened to my mouse? Ah. Anyway. Two hits. Ooh. Three. Vader's yeah, well, gone. Nice. Yeah. Rip oh. Vader. It was not meant to be. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, congratulations, Niels Voss, getting into the final with the uh, with this scum swarm. There's a joke in here for his Australian friends. 
for sure. Uh, for Australian friends of Octacon, who flew this same list uh, in the Space Jam and never got out of the top four with it, there's a joke here, and I love you, Octa. This is this is Ryan. This is Ryan Farmer ammunition, by the way. Ryan, <laughs> here you go for the podcast. Anyway, uh, again, congratulations to Niels and Will, my friend. You've gotten to the top four. Now you can rest. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So let's go ahead and uh, and we have nine minutes left. Let's go take a peek to see if we have a score in the other game. Take a peek here. Ah, wrong button. We do not. So we'll go ahead and we'll enter the score for these guys. They don't have to worry about it. 93 for Will. And 200 for Niels. We got that. So the other game is in progress. Nine minutes left. We should be back in about, let's call it 15-ish uh, minutes. Mm -hmm. 